Father sends Mary to the school for the blind, but the bad luck didn't let Mary go. That day Mary's aunt came to the school. She told Mary that her father had died in an accident. Mary didn't believe her father had died. Mary eventually left school and was taken home by her aunt. Her aunt's house was not a good place to live. The first night at her aunt's house, Mary curled up in the cold bed. Looking at the baby next to her, Mary felt even more alone. That day a couple came to the house, talking to her about adopting a child. The kind couple gave Mary's aunt a sum of money, and Mary followed her adoptive parents to their new home. The adoptive parents took good care of Mary. From then on, Mary grew up happily to the age of 16 under the care and companionship of her adoptive parents. That night Mary began to have nightmares again. Mary looked for the voice of her father, climbing to the top of a huge statue, rolling down from the statue. Looking back, she saw her father walking towards her with 21 candles. Mary shouted with excitement. Just as Mary reached out to embrace her father, father was walking away again. After waking up, Mary started to have nosebleeds again. However, for so many years, Mary dreamed of her father every day. This made Mary even more convinced that her father was still alive. In her dream, her father was holding 21 candles. Could it be that her father was telling her? She would meet her father when she was 21. But Mary didn't want to wait until she was 21 to see her father. So Mary played her violin every day at the subway station next to the stone statue, longing for her father to come to her. But instead of waiting for her father to come, instead, she waited for a man who would change her life. The man looked for the sound of the violin and found Mary. He asked Mary if she could help him. Mary doesn't want to deal with strangers, refused the man's help. She was about to leave. The man suddenly asks Mary, have you ever had a near-death experience? The kind that comes back from the dead. Mary did have such an experience. The man said he could make Mary's musical ability significantly better. Mary confessed that she only wanted to find her father. In order to gain Mary's trust, the man took a machine, plugs headphones into Mary's ears, pressed the switch. Mary could hear the heartbeat of the entire restaurant through the headphones. Mary was convinced of the man's ability. She thought the man could help her find her father. So Mary boarded the man's private jet. She followed him to a laboratory thousands of miles away. Mary noticed that it was unusually quiet. It was eerie. So she pretends to call her family to tell them she's safe. She asks the man to bring the phone. However, the phone was not answered. The man pretended to get something for Mary. He took Mary's bag, took Mary to a dark and damp basement. Mary was told to rest on a simple bed. Mary heard the man leave and unlock the door. She felt bad. She was about to get up and leave, but she slammed her face into the glass wall in front of her. Only then did she realize she was in a glass chamber. Terrified, Mary tried to find an exit to escape. Suddenly, a strange man's voice came from next door. The man's name is Martin. From Martin, she learns that there are several people similar to Mary being held here. Mary was now very regretful. She should not have trusted the man's words. What will be waiting for Mary next?